Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Colin Bird, who's Executive Chairman at Extract Resources. How are you today, Colin? I'm good, thank you, Zach. And how are you? I'm doing fine. I, I believe you've had a busy day so far. Yeah, busy day. A couple of news releases out, and it uh, continues to be very busy in um, in Eureka. Waste eye in the mud at um, Manica. Um, still raining in Zambia, but we're making good progress in both places. And of course, a nice um, a nice RNS from um, Bush Ranger. And so, what do you think that uh, people who are interested parties should look at uh, or focus on uh, in terms of all the information you've uh, put out today? Well, you know, um, Eureka and Manika are sort of um, uh, work in progress. The market understands that and understands it fairly well and are waiting for the, the day we start producing with the big project at um, Manika. And uh, I think they'll be quite pleased to hear that um, preparations are very much underway and we're just proving now if you like, our next few months of uh, mining at uh, Eureka, so that'll please the market. But work in progress, the market's fairly fairly knowledgeable about um, those two projects. But Bush Ranger, of course, that's um, that's really cracking along. And the um, machine broke down over the weekend, disappointed us all a bit. And um, but now we're, we're near, near 800 metres, and the mineralisation has kicked in again. Uh, when I say kicked in, it never went. But some um, strong mineralisation... And, uh, you know, the I see comments um, here and there on uh, when when will you pass through the call? Have you passed through the call? Um, I'm beginning to think, and, you know, it, it is typical of the Lachlan Fold. It is, it is typical of these very, very big systems in that area that we're possibly looking at a bunch of fingers. Um, so instead of one single porphyry with the classic, um, the m- classic model, we're possibly looking at um, a number of um, a number of porphyries, um, and if one looks at the um, the chalca pyrite in the late last ten meters or so, it's quite a bit coarser than the previous, um, which is which is a very good sign, and it's and you know it's abundant quite a lot of it. So, so the mineralization style is is a bit subtle from here to there, but it is suggestive of. of some overstamping and different phases, but I think you know that it gets very scientific. And um, but I think to look at the concept of the single core is probably a bit too simplistic. And what we're happy at is you know if you remember, we first did this lot at um, I think it was three forty, and here we are now. Here we are now, still going at um, near eight hundred meters, and uh, and the mineralization strong. So. It's just very pleasing, very pleasing, Zach. And um, in terms of what's going to happen next, I mean, is it is it a case of you know we're just we're, we're still playing the waiting game, or well, it's too early to tell what the uh, final magnitude of the resource is? Well, it is. It is. It is too. It's too. Um, it is too early because, um, as I say, that um, you pass through these stages of mineralization. Sometimes the changes are are subtle. Are still, but nonetheless, you know, coarseness changing of the chalco, the pyrotite increasing, the pyrotite decreasing, and in this particular hole now, where we are now, the, the pyrite has reduced somewhat, the pyrite has reduced somewhat, and the chalco pyrite has stepped up. Instead of being fine grain, it's, um, it's um, coarser. So my view is we're going through several mineralization stages and phases. Um, could be um, variations within the same porphyry, could be multiple porphyries, um, as I said, on fingers, vertical finger style. So let's see. But um, it can only be good news when you surpass all your ex- when you surpass all your expectations. It can only be good news. Okay. Well, we'll see how that uh, pans out. Uh, Colin Bird, Executive Chairman at Extract Resources. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for giving me the time, Zach. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.